Okay, so today I've got a special guest on my show today. I've got Areti, and I'm not going to pronounce that second name right, I'm sure, so I won't bother. So, hi, Areti, and welcome to the show. Hi there, it's Areti Malidu Maki. <laughs> Perfect, okay. Okay, and uh, we're talking about uh, health cover and health insurance for British people, well, anybody really moving to Spain at the moment. So, uh, Areti, um, as most people are going through the non lucrative visa, there is a policy here in Spain where you need to show that you need health cover for the first year. So. Can you just tell us the uh, you're an agent for uh, an insurance company and can you just tell us a little bit about what you do a, a rough idea of what you do and what you can provide for people yeah of course i work for sanitas and it's um underlined by bupa which i'm sure many people are familiar with in the uk especially <clears throat> and um what my company is is the largest health insurer therefore what we do is we offer plans, uh, healthcare plans for people moving to Spain and we have them adapted to their visa requirements. So we give full cover, uh, co copay or no copay, but usually the requirements are no copay from, from the embassies and consulates. And um, yeah, we basically offer annual contracts for, for people who need um, healthcare uh, for their visas. Perfect, yeah. And, uh, I one of the questions I get asked a lot, I want to jump straight into this one because it's quite a, a big one. Some people, when they're applying for their visas, they, you know, get all the paperwork ready and they go ahead and they have to pay for their health cover a year up front. And they sometimes they do it a bit too early. And then when they find they present all the paperwork, it's not a full year and they end up paying for it twice. So what do you recommend on that? Is there a way around this? Well, to be honest, I've had people come to me saying that they already have a cover, a cover and then they want to apply for a visa, but that's not the, not the way to do it. What they have to do in the beginning is to book an appointment with uh, the embassy. Obviously, I'm not a visa um, or relocation expert, but as far as I know, because my clients usually come from the UK or the US, so I'm quite familiar with the concept. So what they should do is just book an appointment, get the information, and then obviously I can't, I wouldn't be able to give them a quote for more than two months ahead from the current date. So I always advise people to <clears throat> obviously get quotes from everyone because you always want to get your best, the best deal and the best coverage. So what I do, I just have consultations with them and then I speak to them about what their, their um, uh, covers, <clears throat> the healthcare cover covers. And that happens with two months. I can give them a quote and a plan if they wish two months about six to eight weeks before their appointment with the with the visa uh, office not not before that because what they do ask for i know for, for a fact is the visa offices want your coverage to start when the visa so they have to start when your visa their visa starts the healthcare has to start the same month yeah sure okay and uh, now it are some there are some obviously the British people here some of them are a little bit older they're going to be going for this and uh, are there anything specifically that you won't cover in the, the health cover or it might be more expensive or difficult to get covered okay well when it comes to pre-existing health conditions if that's what you mean what happens is um, this is with I think all health insurance in Spain they uh, I'm, it's not under my purview to decide what application gets accepted or rejected so when I have a consultation with a client, I ask them about their <clears throat> pre-existing health conditions, and then we put it in their health questionnaire in the application, and that will go to the Sanitas um, evaluation department, which is where they decide what goes through and what doesn't. So the options, what I've seen in my experience is the, either the, the office will recommend a higher premium, depending on the pre-existing condi health condition, or they can ask to be to exclude some services when it comes to specific things, or they might just say it's accepted and and then we can just go for it because they 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 want to take the risk to insure the person. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and also you know a lot of, of people here have the the dental plan as well. Now you you uh, offer that as well to people. It's included. Yes. Or is that an add? Yes, we do. No, we do add, we do include um, dental to our visa compatible plans. We have 30 services included, which is all the, um, the radio, radiotherapy and x-rays are covered. Then also we have a free cleaning per year per person per, in the policies. 
we have lots of um, lots of discounts. So if a crown, I know this for a fact because my my dentist who doesn't work with insurance companies wants to charge wants to charge me seven hundred euro for a crown. So I did check out the other day because I do have um, the same actually the same uh, plan that I recommend people. I have it for my family, and, the, and I said, okay, I'm going to go look how much it costs through my cover. And I did notice that it costs 400 euro instead of 700 to get it done through my health insurance. So yeah, it gives you a great a great discount. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the the problem being for people when they're first moving in, they need this insurance. Um, you know, once you've been here a few years, you get the you get the health cover here in Spain, if depending on the visa you've got, obviously, and what you're doing here. But for me, I'm working here, or I've been working here, so I get the, the social security health cover. But even so, I still go. I go to a private uh, dentist near me. But as you say, it can be very expensive. One of my friends has just had to have a uh, five teeth done. It was uh, over two thousand euros for five teeth. So, yeah, I, I think of all the things you're going to get covered for, dental is a is a good idea. So, uh, it's expensive anywhere, but in Spain as well, it's uh, the prices seem to be compatible with the UK, getting more and more expensive. So, um, Aretha, you're, you're not in mainland Spain, are you? Can you just tell us where you are? I'm in Lanzarote, the Canary Islands, down south. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, no, I know it very well. I've been there many times and uh, love it, love it there. But it doesn't matter where uh, people are. You can cover people anywhere in Spain, wherever they want to move to. Is that right? Exactly. Everything's done online and it's pretty quick. If you find the, the um, plan and the coverage suitable, we can get your certificate, which is what you need to demonstrate to your um, visa appointment in about 48 hours if there are no pre-existing health conditions. And uh, Areti, also um, for my listeners, for my followers, um, any sort of discount, can you give us a free consultation? What, what can you offer us as a bit of an incentive? Well, I do offer free consultations. Um, uh, what I can do is offer an, a free add-on, which, which could be, for example, um, 50% off at pharmacies, which is usually never covered in health insurance companies. So you can have that extra add-on for free. And also if you prefer the uh, reimbursement coverage, that would be 80% off medical appointments out of Sanita's um, medical chart. So that's two, two great things to have in case you, you need them. So I can give either, I can't give both, but uh, yeah, we can, we can make it work. Yeah, brilliant. Oh, that's great. Well, I, I mean, I, I've been through over Christmas. My wife had a, a, a she had a, slipped off a stepladder and broke her thigh bone and a hip, so she had to have a total hip replacement. And I was, um, it was all covered, obviously, through the health insurance we got here. But uh, I was looking it up online, and it cost fifteen thousand euros if she would have had to go and pay for that. So. You know, it, you never know what's going to happen. So it's always advisable to get a good health cover. And uh, your company is one of the biggest name brands here. It's, it's heard everywhere. And uh, I, I think people should definitely get a free consultation with you. And uh, you can help them out with any of their health cover in Spain. So thanks very much for, for joining us today, Areti. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, David.